and once again welcome back to my channel server gyan my name is dr lokendra singh and today we are going to discuss about kubernetes and the internal architecture like what are the components of kubernetes and apart from that we are going to discuss here that what are the components which are installed on controller node and which are the components which are available and which are installed on kubernetes client node or you can say agent node right so that is the thing which we are going to discuss and these component uh, these components are really necessary to know in order to crack interview because whenever you go to face interview so definitely people will ask like what is this and what is that so what particular section is covered here like what is what so we are going to discuss right so we have this particular uh, like this like this is our kubernetes master node so this is known as controller manager as well right so what is going to happen here first of all we have api server here that is going to interact with uh, between your uh, kubernetes node and kubernetes master so this api server uh, like developer will hit this particular server so this particular will send request to controller manager scheduler right and after that this particular will send instruction to to these nodes as well let us say we need to create a node so where it is going to be created where all the resources are available where people can uh, like where new pod or new uh, containers will be uh, created how these are going to be monitored how these are going to be exposed to outside world so these are the particular individual components which are very very important in order to work with kubernetes so what are the main components here like we have here controller manager so controller manager is available on kubernetes master as we can see within this image as well so kubernetes master will hold controller manager next component here is scheduler so scheduler will be installed along with your kubernetes master then after we have etcd so this particular will be installed on master only same thing like api server we are going to access the api server on uh, kubernetes master as well right so this is default architecture now when we talk about like what are the components which are going to be on uh, kubernetes node where we are going to install so first of all the very basic thing here is we need to install docker so docker has to be installed only then like uh, kubernetes will be able to manage that right so uh, over here like on this particular node we need to install kubelet c advisor so it means like uh, container advisor this particular component will be used for monitoring containers which are running on the top of this particular node so let us say we are going to run multiple pod here and inside multi inside these pods there are going to be like couple of containers running inside there inside it so it can have like uh, it it might it be it could be possible that one pod might have one container or maybe more than one container so how these containers are going to be monitored so this is going to be responsibility of c advisor right so this is going to be for monitoring purpose of like all the pod and containers now we have kube proxy so kube proxy is going to be used in order to expose like the particular pod from the, this, these pods to outside world so this is how we are going to work with this now what is node what is pod what is kube proxy so obviously like we will have upcoming videos within those videos we are going to explain these components in really detail so like uh, what are the main functions of kube manage uh, this this particular controller manager how does scheduler work what are internal components of scheduler what what are what are the types of scheduler what is etcd what do we store here within etcd so this is very basic and beginning video for q uh, for kubernetes because we want it to understand that what components are there and who is going to access from where like developers are going to access this like end of the day users are going to access this kube proxy not directly but obviously we will share some url some endpoint in order to access these pods right so this is it for this video guys thank you so very much for watching have a good time and happy learning if you have any further questions so please do write in comment box i shall be happy to assist you on that have a good time happy learning and please if you are new to my channel so please do like share and subscribe to my channel have a good time happy learning